Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vania Mikkel. Thank you so much for being with, here with me today. Um, today's video is going to be a TikTok made me buy a video. Okay, if you know anything about TikTok, um, first of all, TikTok is great, it's amazing, don't get on. <laughs> it is so addicting. You can literally scroll for hours and hours at a time. And then the amount of things that I have purchased or bought because I've seen it on TikTok and I just had to have it, it's insane. So I figured I would make a video about it. It's three completely random things. Um, but I just figured I'd get on here and share with you guys. Um, I might make this a series depending on how irresponsible I am and how much stuff that I buy from TikTok. But um, we shall see. Before we get into that, if you see this video and you have not subscribed yet, I am on the road to a thousand subscribers. Am I close to a thousand subscribers? Absolutely not. But I can still work towards a goal, have a marker. I just feel like it's a good um, goal to work to work towards. Also, I'm eligible to be monetized after a thousand subscribers. So I just feel like I would share that with you all and be transparent on this content creator journey that I'm on. So if you see this and you want to support, you like the content, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out the way, let's get into what I got. I'll try to remember to link or play or post the video where what inspired me to get everything that I got if I can find them. All right, so I'm going to tell you what I did to get my body to glow like this. First, I used this Laura Mercier body cream. This is not an absolutely necessary step. I really don't think this cream is that thick, but it's very luxurious and it smells good. This is what my skin looked like, and it's kind of like a primer. Then this body butter. I cannot emphasize enough how good this body butter is. Look at the way it makes my skin look and feel obviously you can't make you can't tell how it makes my skin feel but this is literally the key um but this one this first one i have been dying to try the video like went viral of course and then they were completely sold out the company is called skin butter and so i got the box here got a little thank you card here um and i guess like instructions about how to use their scrub how to use their butter all this you are I don't know if that's coming up. You are beautiful. And then on the back, I've got a code for 10% off my next order. So, ooh, look at the packaging. I think that is absolutely beautiful. So, this scent is Pomango Butter. So, it's got this um, thing. Take it off here. Ooh. Now, this I like. I don't even want to use it yet. But this is what the texture, well, not the texture, but this is what it looks like. I don't want to put my hands in it. Oh, I'm already wearing perfume today. Oh my gosh, but this feels so smooth. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my gosh, I already have stuff that I want to layer with this. <clears throat> if you haven't seen my body care, summer body care laying video, it's linked here. Got some amazing, amazing combinations, body care, shot, the whole routine from the shower gel to body wash to if I'm wearing a perfume oil to the the whole thing I have I do the whole routine um but in my next one I'm pretty sure this will be going in there also got cocoa vanilla which I mean how can you go wrong with that this is what it looks like okay there's nothing really special about this one to me this just smells pretty much like almost shea butter basically but every time I rub it it's so smooth though can y'all see the shine from what I just put on? Can y'all see that? This really just smells like plain shea butter to me. There really isn't anything fancy about this. <clears throat> I definitely can use it up, but I'm just not crazy about plain scents. But if you like, if you're a person that likes shea butter type smells, you like that raw, not raw, but like that clean, more cleaner smell then definitely get this cocoa vanilla after i use this particular one up probably won't be purchased but not because it's not good i just don't care for those type of stuff like i would use this at nighttime before i go to bed type of thing but not like in the daytime to like smell good type of thing does that make sense okay and then the last one that i have is strawberry cocoa which i was super excited about this one i wonder how i'm supposed to scoop it out like am i supposed to mess it up it's so okay this is giving me, what am I getting from this? It smells good. Would I describe this as strawberry cocoa? I don't know. I 
don't want to put too much because I don't want to ruin it. First of all, every time you put it on, the glow is just... That's really what made me buy this from the glow. It's from when she put it on her skin was just absolutely... I mean, it was just immaculate. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's not bad. I'm not in love with it. There's something I'm getting in the jar that I don't get when I put it on my skin. I don't know. I have to play around with this more. But I can already tell you, I know that this is going to give me some amazing shine. Y'all already know. I'm giving leg tips and body all summer. Leg. Okay, I'm not going to do it anymore. <coughs> I'm giving legs and hips and body all summer. So legs out, they got to be greased up, shined up real good. Shoulders, arms, the whole nine. So I am happy to have this regardless because I already know that this is going to give my body the shine that I was looking for. So for that, it's a winner. Um, it's a black owned business, I believe. So you know I'm always in support of that. I did a whole series in March. We still Black History Month. If you haven't checked it out, there's a playlist linked. Um, just supporting black owned businesses. That's my thing. So, um, I think it's worth trying out. They always sell out super, super quick. There was one more scent that I wanted, but they were sold out when I went to get it. Um, but I mean, the packaging is for now. I'm like, this is a glass jar. I don't know if I mentioned that. This is absolutely a glass jar. Like, this takes time and attention and... I'm definitely going to repurchase from them. It's just which scent that I will I repurchase. And they also have scrubs, which you know I'm I'm real iffy about scrubs. Like the sugar scrubs on my skin. I, it just makes my skin crawl. So I didn't get the scrubs. But there's a lot of stuff on the website. I'll link the website in the description box below. And that is everything I got from them. Let's get into the next thing. Okay, so this next one. I hope I remember her tiktok so i can post the video so why an african nest sponge over a loofah number one it doesn't hold bacteria because of how porous it is and it can spread out and dry very quickly number two look at me reach my back you can't do this with a loofah number three this lasts way longer than a loofah up to one to five years but anyway it's a body care girl on tiktok talking about like perfume body care the whole nine and she's talking about the african neck scrubs like where she got hers from i have had one and I literally got it at a, a natural hair expo and there were like a bunch of different vendors and this and this um there were two people was it two or one no there was one lady who had the African net scrub I bought it I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it so I only bought one it was pink it was beautiful I loved it I lost it in the move when I moved like six months ago <coughs> I lost it and so I've been on the hunt for another one and I want it, it to be good in quality because like I've seen some on Amazon but the reviews are like they're not they don't make me, they haven't convinced me enough that I should buy it. Because I know, like, people are selling, like, dupes and not, like, really good, authentic African net scrubs. If you know anything about these, these scrub, okay? These exfoliate, like, uh, it get that first epidermic layer, it's gone. <laughs> like, that's what it feels like sometimes. But I like that. Like, I like a good, I don't mind a good rough scrub. So, if you don't like a rough scrub, don't get the African net but if you like something that might peel your skin off and feel like not that rough but you get what i'm saying then look into the african net scrubs so anyway i got three colors this is from omas cosmetics i hope i'm saying that right so they you know put the little package in there we got three colors blue pink and purple okay so let's pull it out now the last one i had wasn't like this I like it though it's got these like strings on the end do I take the strings off do I take those off or do I keep them um also the other difference between the African net scrubs is they're supposed to be more cleanly like the loofahs uh, apparently like hold on to bacteria longer and that type of thing you're supposed to be able to like use these wash them and use them and keep them for like a year without fear of like bacteria everywhere um, I literally don't know how I'm supposed to use this. Maybe I'm not supposed to untie this. Maybe this is supposed to stay tied. Maybe I just messed it up. I don't know. It's pretty. It's huge. I know these open up and you like, you can like stretch them and like get your back and all that type of stuff. So maybe I wasn't supposed to untie this. But the last one I had wasn't like this. So we shall see. Obviously I haven't used it in the shower yet. But... I'm excited. I got three of them. I got this color. I got a blue one and a purple one. I'm not going to touch the purple one because I'm actually giving that to someone. Because I recommended the African scrubs. I hope these do the job. 
after I use them I may do like a little short to my video updating my thoughts um, but if these are the true deal Holyfield real deal Holyfield I will update you guys and let you know if this is a yes or a no so the last thing I have is super super random but that really just explains who I am as a person so on TikTok there's like different sides of TikTok so like there's music talk shower talk hygiene kitchen cooking i mean literally every category you can think of there's a side of tiktok for it so i always end up on book talk i don't know how but i always end up on book talk and i have been saying for years that i wanted to get back into reading back into reading just not for any specific reason i just wanted to start reading more i used to be into reading heavily heavily in like um high school middle school i used to read all the time my my jam was nancy drew Nancy Drew was my jam. I would go to the library and rent the books. Do people still go to libraries anymore and rent books? Is that a thing? I don't know. Anyway, so I literally kept I kept saying it, kept thinking it. And um, a video had came up on my TikTok and it was talking about like how many, how does she read so many books in a month, blah, 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 whatever. Then literally the very next video, the very next was like, this lady was like, hi, in case you didn't know, I'm an owner. I'm a business owner. My whole business is I sell resell used books gently used books for like a super cheap price and so i was like that's my sign that's my sign this is my avenue to get back into reading books so i went on there her books were like literally like five dollars six dollars seven dollars they were very 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 affordable and i just picked some random books so let's show you what i got i don't know her name is Kaylee, if I find the name of her business, if I ever find the video, I'll try to, I'll post it, the link and everything. Um, she put a little note. Thank you so much for your order. Hope you love these books. The first. Did she give me an extra book? I only remember ordering three books. I wonder if she gave me an extra one. I'll check my order after. So anyway, this first one is called, um black girl called home and i'm pretty sure what sold me was the did i pick this book or did she give me this i think she gave me this because i actually don't remember pick i don't know but anyway this is black girl called home it says poems i don't know if this is just like a book of poems yes this is like a book of poems maybe i did pick this i don't know if i did pick it is because i saw a black girl with barrettes in her hair and that's my childhood so this is by Jasmine Manns. This is Black Girl Call Home. Black Girl Call Home is a love letter to the wandering black girl and a vital companion to any woman on a journey to find truth, belonging, and healing. So, very interested to read this to see what this is about. <clears throat> this is Farrah Roshan, The Dating Playbook. Fun, heartfelt, and totally... What is this about? I should tell you. I didn't even... I literally was just like, give me books. Notice all these people have, these books have black people on the cover. Two best friends, one fake boyfriend. When it comes to personal training, Taylor Powell kicks serious butt, but it seems no matter how much hustle she puts into her business, the bills keep piling up and now the money situation is dire. She's going to need more help than her best friends. Samaya in London can give her. She needs a miracle and Jamar Dixon might just be it. The also fine former footballer once back in the NFL and he's convinced Taylor can get him in shape for it there's just one catch no one can know she's training him when they're spotted by together by a journalist taylor blurts the first thing that comes to her head that she's jamal's girlfriend now her game plan is turned completely upside down and she suddenly can't tell whether jamal jamar is playing to win or playing for keeps so this is gonna be interesting we'll get into that now this one i remember buying because i literally i don't think i've ever seen a book with braids on the cover braids on the cover i don't think i've seen this in my life and i literally didn't care what it was about i said oh braids her she got baby hairs i said this book is for me <laughs> um her boyfriend has asked her to, this book is called queenie queenie by candace cardi williams um her boyfriend has asked her to leave their apartment. Her boss doesn't seem to see her. Her Jamaican British family doesn't seem to hear her. Her best friends tried to but failed to help her. Queenie is in a spiral as she careens from one questionable decision to another. She finds herself wondering, what are you doing? What, why are you doing it? Who do you want to be? All the quandaries today's woman must face in a world trying to answer them for her. This will probably be the first one I read. 
Um, this really sounds good. A must-read novel about sex, selfhood, and the best friendships that get us all through it. This is probably going to be my first read. If you guys have read any of these books, if you know anything about them, if you have any recommendations, let me know. This is not a book account, but, you know, actually, this account is whatever it is. It's just me being myself on YouTube. Like, it is what it is. But if you guys have any recommendations, if you know, if you read these, drop down in the comments. Let me know, 100%. And then this last one is Saint a novel this is just called saint um here's a marvel of a book a kaleidoscope a kaleidoscopic examination of race and privilege family and self told with the propulsive kinetic focus of a crime thriller Ooh, brilliant and unflinching saint x marks the debut of a stunningly gifted writer i simply couldn't stop reading okay this is called saint x okay so so far the two that are intriguing me the most are Saint and Queenie. These are probably, hopefully I'll get through these first. It's really about taking the time to like set aside time for myself and read. I get distracted by so many other things. So I'm not putting myself on any timeline because that will just make it overwhelming. I'm just going to enjoy the process, enjoy the books and get to them as I get to them. So that is everything that I have gotten in the last month or so from TikTok. Um, are you a TikTok addict like I am? Do you be buying things on there? Which side of TikTok are you on? If you know what I'm talking about, drop down in the comments and tell me which side of TikTok are you on? Especially a side that you're just like, I don't know how I got here, but I'm here and I just, I just be staying here. Like, um, so that's all that I got. I'm really excited about everything that I have. Um, uh, that's all. Thank you so much to all my beautiful new subscribers. You guys are amazing. I love you. You're the best. We've been in the comments talking, having a great time. I'm telling you, this side of heaven, this side of YouTube, this side of Beyonce's internet is a great place to be. Okay, that's all. I love you so much. Bye. So I definitely only ordered Saint, Queenie, and the Dating Playbook. She threw this in there, which was so nice of her. That was like, I don't know what possessed her to do that. I did like, when I seen her video come up, I literally commented and told her like I have been trying to get back into reading and your video was the next video that popped up after another book reading video and I just went ahead and bought some stuff from your website so I don't know if that's what present that's what caused her to do that I don't know but thank you so much if you see this which I'm sure you won't but thank you that was so nice of her like that was really great